something I've always believed in is that brands need homes. If we want people to truly connect to what a brand's all about and what it makes and how it makes it, that brand needs a home, it needs a heart. Where we're sitting today is really indicative of a defining moment. It's the Four Pillars Laboratory here in Sydney. This is a place to celebrate gin drinks. And the best way you can do justice to that and you can pay tribute to what goes on there is really caring about the creativity and the craft and the design of everything else. We saw work that was being done by Yaz and her team at YSG. I think right from the first meeting, it was clear that both in terms of her aesthetic judgment and the value that she would bring to the project, that they would be a fantastic partner. This is a brand experience. This is the Four Pillars Laboratory. It's our unique expression of what Four Pillars is about. And I think Yaz was just the perfect partner to go on that collaborative journey. The initial brief was to make a patron understand and get really sunk into what Four Pillars is as a brand and what they offer and essentially wanted the space to feel as unpretentious as possible. The space needed to portray, I guess, this sense of a production line. Upon entry downstairs, you have a great gin shop that has gin-infused marmalades and chocolates and salts. And upstairs you see glimpses of the gin laboratory where the Carl still is. And with that comes beautiful scents that go floating down into the retail offering down below. So you really get a sense of being engulfed within the Four Pillars story. The final offering is at the Eileen's Bar where you get to sit back and enjoy the incredible vibe and experience with a great bartender and great service and obviously an amazing epically made gin cocktail. It had to have all three experiences seamlessly blend into one another. You enter, you leave, and you've been fully given a head-to-toe Four Pillars experience. This is the old Bustle Brothers building. They were great grocers around Sydney at the turn of the 20th century. And we've not really tried to disguise the fact that we're in an old shed on what was a timber yard. There's a heritage quality and a feel and an energy to this space that you can't make up, you can't replicate. It comes from a hundred years plus history. And yeah, I think we've just settled right in beautifully. It's all about the attention to detail. It's all about the joinery. It's all about the finishes. It's all about the lighting. It's not about lots of branding. There's not much of a show pony element to the space. Everything speaks quietly, but beautifully. The more you engage with it, the more you appreciate it. And that's what to me makes it a truly four pillars space. Four pillars are very straight. They do things really, really well, and so you don't need to overcomplicate anything. We felt that the palette needed to marry their brand offerings. So downstairs in the retail space, it consists of mainly two materials, which was a beautiful brushed velvet, which reflected the copper of their brand, and then some beautiful Australian hardwood timbers, Australian red cedars and cambia ashes. And then when you came upstairs to the bar offering, it was a very different experience. The bar actually was inspired by the juniper berry itself, so it became the only soul colour within a very neutral palette. It's one of my favourite details. None of the walls here are straight. Essentially, we offset the perimeter edges to create the heroing experience, which is the bar. And so that's why there's this gorgeous V-shaped bar right in the centre, because we wanted that to be the magical beacon, and everything else kind of recedes in the perimeter. This particular project has a really layered lighting scheme. We really wanted somebody to feel at the bar that they were engulfed by a halo of lit gin bottles. As you slide a drink over, into the middle of it is where it's perfectly lit. That connection between patron and bartender, that for me is pure magic. There's always that first moment when you experience something you've been working on for a long time and that sort of terrifying <laughs> moment of is it better or worse than, than what you expected. I can hand on heart say that the first time I sat and had a drink at that beautiful Juniper Blue Bar, it was so much more than I could have expected. The overarching feeling was just warmth. There's a warmth, there's an energy to this place, because it's still got an edge and an excitement to it that always makes you feel you're in the right place. This project really has a lot. 
I love so many things about it for different reasons. I love the colour of the bar. I love the textural combinations of the fabrics, the way the joinery fits so perfectly around the existing beams. The materiality between the mottled nature of the bar and then the slickness of the powder coated canopy above. There are so many details and every single one has made up an incredible story for everybody to enjoy. I feel like I've delivered an iconic landmark for people to enjoy for years to come.